of uh, weeks ago, Karen, when we were out on farm, we knew we were coming out to do the to do this. Uh, and we took a pasture sample and mm. sent it away to Hills Laboratory to see what, what the pasture was doing. So it was a little bit longer than um, what the calves are grazing at the moment. Uh, but the, the actual results that came back were quite surprising. The protein in the grass was only 15.6%. Um, and it looked like relatively, you know, quite good quality pasture. So the, the protein level was a little bit lower than we expected. And I guess it wasn't really high enough for, um, for you know, really rapidly growing animals. And it's really good that you've maintained that 20% uh, calf pellet right through because I think as, as you can see even though the pasture looks really good a lot of the time the the protein level there just isn't high enough for for young rapidly growing animals. Oh exactly and um, for this this, this paddock had been left a little bit too long when the tests were taken yeah um, and ideally we would have taken baleage off first um, and then and then it's the regrowth that we've put them on so yeah. it's actually it's a good test for all of us to see yeah um, and it and this is why it's still on animals that are on 20% protein pellets. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it covers them and it covers us really. Yeah, I guess yeah. the pasture changes quite a bit, doesn't it, depending on the weather and, and that sort of thing. So sticking with the 20% right through is, a, is good insurance, isn't it, to make sure that the protein level Definitely. is always there. Yeah. And I mean, it's really important to also remember that the quality of the pasture is really important even for calves and you do need to make sure that calves are getting as high quality pasture as possible. Yes, yeah, totally. So this is obviously some really, really good quality grass. There's lots of clover in there. We actually did a pasture test on, on grass quite similar to this on the same um, paddock a couple of weeks ago. And although the protein's there and it's really good quality, there was actually quite a low mineral content of the grass. The copper and some of those micro and macro minerals weren't quite where we need them to be for calf optimum growth. Yep. So I guess putting a calf pellet in there, like a, the calf nut that we're feeding to the calves, it really helps with that mineral supplementation too, doesn't it? Oh, definitely. And and once once the calves are, are reaching that 12 week mark, they're all, we're also putting in a mineralised drench as well. So, and we start with you know B12s and things like that as well. So, so it, it's really important that they keep up with their minerals, yeah. especially when they're growing. Yeah, and the pasture alone it just isn't enough for a growing no. animal, is it? No. Rakaia Island regularly weigh calves to ensure they are on target. Weighing is also a useful parameter to take into account when making weaning decisions. At Rakaia Island, calves are only weaned once they are 80 kilos. Calves that do not reach this target weight are held back from weaning, even if a majority of their group moves on. This attention to detail ensures that calves that are not ready for weaning are identified and given a chance to catch up. <laughs> <laughs>